Yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to, to be back on the field, uh, to be playing with this team, and uh, to, to finally, you know, just be active on that field. So uh, I'm excited about that and uh, excited to see what we can do on that field. Um, I mean, just, just I'm mean, really both ways, just on the field and in the film room. Uh, just going over different plays with him, uh, going over the timing of everything, just like you know we did with Kirk, and uh, just trying to find that that uh, that connection uh, that we can find uh, that we can use for Sunday. So uh, it's been a pleasure, you know, working with him, uh, kind of learning things that I can learn from him, things that he can learn from me. And uh, it'll be better for us when we go out, go out there on that field. Hey Justin, coach has talked about how they're trying to get you to work with all the different quarterbacks as you kind of ramp up. How much exactly did you get with Justin or of Josh up on just this game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've been talking with Josh, and uh, of course, you know, uh, before this week, I wasn't really uh, in practice as much, so I uh, wasn't really working with him as much, but uh, I feel like, you know, we're, we're going to be good. We're going to be fine uh, as long as he has confidence in me and I have confidence in him. Justin, do you expect the coverage to kind of go back to the way they've always been, where safeties are going over the top and you get a lot of doubles, or do you think that'll take a little while for them to, to feel things out with a quarterback new Nah, I don't think so. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I said the same thing, but uh, I'm most likely going to get the same coverage as I did before. Uh, but it's nothing new, uh, nothing that we uh, don't expect. And, uh, you know, we still have the same game plan as move, moving me around and putting me in different positions to get the ball. And that's one thing for, I guess, Kirk to have been through that with you and gotten used to it. Is that kind of any type of adjustment for a new quarterback when they're seeing defenses react to you that way for the first time? Oh, uh, I feel like uh, Josh is a smart enough quarterback to, to you know, read the defenses and uh, choose when he throw me the ball and, uh, you know, see the double teams and the single highs and uh, all of that. So, I mean, we go over that every single day. Uh, we kind of prepare for that uh, to, to happen throughout the game. So uh, I feel like we're well prepared in that aspect of things. When you say you feel pretty good, Justin, do you have the explosiveness that you had, obviously, you know, pre the injury? Of course, of course. If I didn't, I wouldn't be playing. So that was the main focus into getting back on the field is to having that same explosion, having that same power, having that same speed as I did before the injury. Is this the longest you've ever missed of a season in your football career? Uh, I missed a little time in, in high school. Uh, that was probably a little longer for a broken elbow, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't really play. I wasn't on varsity. Yeah wasn't a key factor into the team. So um, ever since then, this has been the longest I have so been like, out. Now that you can look back, now that you're back and look back on it, like, what has it felt like to be kind of disassociated from the daily grind? Yeah, it sucks. It, it's it's kind of terrible. Yeah, it's a terrible feeling. Uh, just feeling hopelessness. Uh, for, for not being on the field, uh, you know, the, the fans expect you to come out and, and play every single week. Uh, teammates expecting you to come out and, and play hard every single week. So uh, it's tough being on the sideline and uh, switching roles into, you know, the more of a coaching role. Uh, but uh, I'm finally back now, and I'm very, very excited to be back on the field. Just in the first time in practice, you ran a go route and just let it rip. Like, how did it go? Yeah, uh, you kind of got to go through the mental stage of things. You know, you got to kind of trust uh, that my hamstring is back to, to where it was before uh, or even stronger. Uh, so I just kind of have to have that in the back of my mind. Uh, just be confident in, in myself and uh, just know that uh, I feel myself and feel 100%. So uh, just go out there and just let it all out. Just with the hopelessness, just how did you stay up? During the Say it one more time, I'm sorry. Feeling that hopelessness, how did you stay up? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my family, friends, uh, teammates, coaches, uh, and uh, the rest of the training staff that we have in that in that training room. Uh, every single day, uh, I tell them how how suck how how much it sucks to be in here. Uh, but uh, <laughs> they hate it that I say that. But uh, I mean, they they know that I, I just want to be back on the field and uh, be back with the team. So uh, it's definitely kudos to them of doing a uh, 
fantastic job with me this whole process and uh, you know knowing when I feel good, knowing when I don't feel good and uh, knowing when to push things and don't push things. So uh, kudos to them for sure. Justin, it's, it's obviously a road game, but there's been a lot of talk about how many Vikings fans are traveling for this game. Just how much does that help you guys out when there's a good showing on the road? Oh, it, it always helps us out. Uh, I feel like our fans travel anywhere. Uh, so that's the kind of uh, great thing about this fan base. Uh, they always supporting us wherever we go. Uh, and it's, it, it feels like a home game whenever, you know, that the, the Skull Nation is in that building. Justin, when, when did you sort of know or what day did you feel like you were 100%? Um, really was uh, kind of close to the Chicago game. Uh, of course, we didn't want to push it uh, to the point where, you know, we wasn't 100% sure uh, if I was going to have to, you know, break away from someone and uh, use that extra gear to, to, you know, run away from someone. So uh, we kind of didn't want to push push it to that limit. Uh, we felt like an extra two weeks into things and uh, I'll feel more comfortable. Uh, of course, you know, working with Josh and uh, the rest of the team uh, in practice kind of help help through things. Do you talk to Kirk very often and uh, how's he doing? I talk to him every single day. Uh, I mean, every day he's in that training room trying to get back to uh, where he was before. So uh, to see his spirits and uh, to see that Kirk is never this, never different from uh, what he normally is, uh, he still has that, that high energy, uh, that the funny jokes, dad jokes that he always do. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I mean, just having that same type of mindset as he had before uh, is definitely definitely a good feeling to see your starting quarterback uh, in the building and still have that same uh, happy vibe that he always have. He says that you're a little bit more happy, go lucky. You can let play go, and he can believe good things are going to happen. Yeah. He internalizes it. Processes yeah. And it's agonizing. <laughs> Sometimes he wishes he was more like you, and maybe you wish you were more like him. So I don't know. Yeah. But explain that. Is that who you are? That it doesn't bother you, and things you just believe something good's gonna happen all the time? Or? Yeah. I mean, some things bother me. Uh, depends on what happened, but. Uh, uh, you know, I'm a person that believes, you know, next play, you know, I, I can't really focus on the last play that I messed up on or that didn't go my way. Uh, I'm more focused on the opportunities that are uh, yet to come uh, later into the game or even the next play. Uh, so I always try to keep uh, Kirk into that happy mood uh, during the game, try to be more relaxed, try to be more confident uh, about himself and just let the game play for itself. Uh, I feel like our talent is enough that we can just work with and uh, I feel like the good things will happen throughout the game. Yes, I'm sure you had goals for this year in terms of stats and numbers and all that. How have you or have you adjusted those you know, in your mind? Yeah, it's been hard to adjust those uh, goals, uh, honestly, uh, to, to have missed, you know, six, seven games throughout the season, uh, especially on the pace that I was going uh, before the injury. Uh, it's a little tough, you know, to see, you know, Tyreek going crazy every single week uh, and to see, you know, different people throughout the whole league uh, doing tremendous things. So it, it's been tough because it's the first season I've, I've been hurt. Uh, since I've been into the league. So uh, it's tough, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I'm always going to do whatever I need to do to help this team win. Uh, and I'll just worry about the, the individual goals next year. And you would have been right there with, with him. With yeah, hopefully, hopefully. You know, that was, that was the goal to get to, you know, at least close to 2,000. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, since, since I got hurt, the, the new goal is 1,000. So, uh, of course, I want to end every single year over 1,000 yards. Yeah. Um, I feel like everything that we did was uh, a little piece of getting back to where I needed to be. Uh, there's so many different things that you can do to stri strengthen out the hamstring. And of course, you can't just strengthen out one hamstring. You know, you got to work on both and you got to work on your whole entire body. Uh, of course, you can't go six, seven weeks without doing upper body. So there's a lot of things that play uh, in into it. Um, and uh, just goes back to the trainer room being a, a, a fantastic job of uh, handling me and you know, putting me through the work. You've talked, highly, you've talked highly before, kind of about the mutual respect with you and Devonte. Like, mm -hmm. is it is it fun to see him before after games like this? Obviously not on the field at the same time, but oh, it's always fun to see uh, him on and off the field. Honestly, uh, he's a, a, a fantastic player. Um, I always watched him growing up and 
uh, seeing them in Green Bay. I uh, always watch his releases, his route running. Uh, so I've always been a fan of Devontae uh, ever since I could run routes. So uh, it, it's been a pleasure to really follow behind him, uh, to really learn from, from him and uh, to see the good things that he do every single week, even though he's, uh, you know, getting doubled and tripled just like I am. So uh, it's always cool to talk to him and, and chop it up with him. Uh, but he's definitely one of the best in the game. Shoot, we trying to get to a playoff and get to the Super Bowl. Uh, I mean, uh, the individual stats are, n are not there for me uh, this year, but it's more about winning uh, for the team, more about doing things uh, for the team to help out. Uh, of, of course, you know, I had to do the sideline uh, adjustment, but uh, now it's more about getting on the field and uh, helping this team out any way I can.